What's going on gamers, RC Styles here, welcoming you back to Insomniac and day number three of Randall's Monday. I am joined with Dreadmere, but he is in another game at this moment on Discord. Just keeping me company on this B hour stream. Once again, if you do not know what Insomniac is, this is basically where the rules go out the window. We can say and do whatever we want on the stream within reason, and we play kind of far out there games like this one brought to you by the makers of clerks and jay and son bob and company it is randall's monday main character voiced by jeff anderson who played randall graves in the clerk series and we do have an appearance of jay and son and bob within the stream as well so i'm not going to sit here and continue to yak 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 i'm going to go ahead and get on with the motherfucking show snitch So here we are, starting off with day number three. Make sure you all hit me up in the chat lines, guys. I'm willing to talk to anybody about just about anything. Or you can come on over and join me in our Discord. If you need the link for that, let me know in the description below. So Dread, how is your game coming along? Good sir, before you answer the Alright, yeah, he's a good making all the monies. Making all of the monies. I right, said so what we're going to do is we're going to leave our room, we're going to check the newspaper, talk to Mr. Marconi, and go to the subway to travel to Matt's apartment. Whereas, yep, you guessed it, we are going to talk to Sergeant Kramer, who's probably going to call us Elizabeth this time around. We'll find out. Matt's on the front page again? Turning into a sad classic. Idiot freezes himself. Okie dokie. Aw oh man, what's going on now? Wonder what mysteries lurk outside. Hmm, I foresee an ugly dude bubbling with rage, I'm sure. God damn it, Pax! I can hear you there! Open up, or I swear that my ancestors I'll tear you a new asshole! Hey, Mr. Mark. Whoa! Caught me a little off guard here. I love your new look, Mr. Marconi. You've really gone all out. Who the hell are you talking to, Hexes? Don't you dare make fun of me, Neem. Us, the Marconis, don't take kindly to that kind of thing. The Marconis? This just keeps getting better. What is it this time? As if you didn't know, it's rent day, Hex. Uh, again? For three months, so taking that into account, yes, again, and no, I don't take chocolate coins. Really? Because your body says a different thing. Can you give me a hand? Lately I've been getting the urge to collect and store all kinds of junk at my place, and the worst part is that I know deep down inside, it's all going to be useful sooner or later. So, I don't like how that sounds. I think you should see someone. No, seriously. I'm one step away from becoming Sanford and Hey, what's going on, You're one Amanda, step away from, from getting kicked out. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Amanda, if you want to, you can join in Discord and talk to us and watch the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button if you would, please. I would have certainly appreciate that. Oh, Mark. Uh, also, right now, guys, I want to take and point to your attention over on Hardcore Gaming. If he hits 200 followers by the end of the month, he is going to do a mystery giveaway. 
So go on over there and make sure you follow him. Tell him RC from Gamers Purgatory sent you, as well as earn your spot in that giveaway. I guess you heard about my friend Matt. I forgot to do that on the last stream. It was in the paper this morning. I'm very sorry about your friend. He was a very responsible young man. A good role model for you. Yeah, well, he got banned from nearly every bar in town. And there was this one time Interpol was after him. Not to mention he used to bite kids. Not hard, but he did bite them. Hmm. You have any idea why he did it? You should know. You were pals. Well, um, I have a theory. He'd been acting kind of odd lately. He was obsessed with time travel. Sometimes he thought this was the future, and, uh, he also said something about everything being a dream. Uh, I, I don't know. Those dumb cults. A cult? No, not at all. I think it was video games. I knew something like this would happen hey, Jack, sooner or later. Hey, Jack, once you host me once, does that go for all my streams? Did try to help him? If it nope. don't pay, don't play. Or wait, my motto. it might, it and might. And mine if you don't pay, I'll bang on your door all day. At least it didn't used to. They might have changed that, though. The Makanis, eh? I guess that explains the skirt. Oh, it's the same. It's not a skirt! It's a kilt! And it's a proud ancient tradition. I'll wear it like my ancestors wore it before me. And my ancestors' ancestors are for that! And that's the way it is, son. I thought all your ancestors were cannellonis. What? Hell no! Are you sure? I mean, I always thought... You're doing it again. Doing what? Stop changing the subject and give me my money. Yeah, um, speaking of money, you've been doing pretty well lately, haven't you? Oh, come on. I don't care what you might have heard. I lose and nobody bats an eye. But I win two games in a row and everybody starts making a big deal about it. Losers. Games? What are you talking about? Yes, uh, every Thursday. Uh, aren't we talking about poker? Well, I wasn't. Oh, well, uh, never mind. Don't make me say it again, Hex. Give me my money, or there'll be hell to pay. I can now afford a hitman, don't forget it. Okay, well, this must be your lucky day. Here's a nice fat wad of bills with your name on it. How do you like the sound of that? Monopoly bills? You already tried that once. I'm not falling for that one again. <laughs> I'm surprised you fell for it the first time. But one thing's for sure, I always try my best. You can't deny that, right? Sonny, I am so sick of you. Say one more thing. Oh, relax, Mr. Marco. McCani. Look, I have your money. What job did you scam this time? I don't believe this is any of your concern, Mr. Marconi. Just take the goddamn money and get out of my way. What are you being chased Sorry, by the cops over there? You know I don't really care for you. I just fucking ran over a pedestrian. You ought to learn some manners, you arrogant, good for nothing piece of trash! What can I say? I'm speechless, Mr. Marconi. Marconi. Mar Gee whiz, can I just call you Mr. DeVito? No. <laughs> All right, look, you got your like money. Now get the hell out of my way before a breeze comes and we find out what's really mm -hmm. under that skirt. The guy's uh, Mr. Marconi over here. convenient to do so. Oh. Well then, I'll be going now. I got a lot to do. Yeah, and a lot of people to annoy. What'd you say? I said you were a constant annoyance. Now get out of here. You're disrespecting me, Sonny. Don't take that tone. It might backfire on you. I'll be back. Yeah, I know you will. I wish you weren't, but you will. What the fuck is ain't going well? I have to keep paying the old man every morning. I'll be cool out of cash in no time. I need to get that ring way. back as soon as possible. And on the fucking side of the wall over there. And on the other window. Jesus, what the fuck are these koalas doing here, man? <laughs> That's some crazy shit. <laughs> Can I actually go in? No. 
incidentally, this video store is the same video store that sits right next to the quick stop in the Clerks movie. God damn it. I thought that was on my thing, dude. What did I do? Yep, that sounds like a bunch of police officers. <laughs> Amanda, we want you in Discord. Hi. He's welcome to come in the Discord if she wants. I'm trying to encourage her to come in the Discord. She'll actually be on the stream as well instead of just watching it. More than welcome, but I'm not going to force her to. She will be famous! Yeah. I don't go around bothering strangers. Often. Well, we're not bothering strangers. We talk to this motherfucker. I don't go around bothering strangers. Often. I'm not going back in there. My ass is at stake. So we're supposed to be talking to this moment. Okay. I'm not going back in there. My ass is at stake. Alright, yeah, it says I have to talk to this guy. Come on. Come on. Go around bothering strangers. Often. That's good because we're not talking to that fucker. What the hell, dude? Come on. I don't go around bothering. I need to go up to his head. I don't go around. I'm talking to a stranger. I don't go around bothering strangers. Often. Alright, so we're gonna fucking go back here and ignore that and see if that's a glitch. What the hell? Hold it, pal. Oh, there we go. Oh, I swear, this game can God, be infuriating at now? times. That's what I'm gonna find out. Are you Mr. Hicks? Mr. Hicks was my father. You can call me either Randall or Mr. Fantastic. Now, you know what? I want you to call After me this Mr. next part of the talking segment, I do want to take a few minutes to get talk straight about to the a few point. things. Your friend Matthew Griffin's been murdered at his apartment. He murdered. said she's in bed yeah. though, bro. Are you sure it wasn't a suicide? He seemed to know a lot about it. Oh, no, uh, he, he just he used to say he would kill himself if the remake of V got cancelled. And I've been hiding it from him ever since it happened. There's a well, chance you might have right. found out already. We appreciate you tuning into the stream just the same. I appreciate the views. I don't have time to listen to your crap. You're coming with me. I'm sorry, but I am really busy today. I don't remember asking you if you felt like it. I said, you're coming with me. Okay, fine. Just don't start calling me Susan. Don't tell me what to do. You wait here, kid. You're the boss. Oh my god! Randall! I know, I know, it was on the news. I can't believe this is happening! I'm sorry, Sally. Definitely make sure you tune in to Gamers Purgatory on Friday night before Friday night Friday. We will be doing a very, very, very special unboxing no. here on Gamers Purgatory, he did, no. something that we earned for doing some sure? work with the of WWE, and no, it, it, it is a quite course. custom so much. Do award of sorts, so you don't want to miss that as we unbox it and that. mount it and everything Actually, else like that. I'm, not that I'm looking forward to it. And then also that night, night we have Friday Night Frights as well. And also, either that Sally, night as well or on world. Saturday, we'll in Discord, we will be we showing Mortal Kombat, the new Mortal Kombat. I never thought Mortal he would Kombat. actually do it. I just can't live without him. If 
if only there was a way to undo this. I swear I would never shout at him again about his drinking or his addiction to sci-fi. I just wish there was something I could do. A way to undo this? Sally, there is no way to undo this. Unless you can find a guy that has the ability to turn back time, I'm afraid you're just going to have to accept the fact that now it's 3 a.m. Thursday, to be honest with you, but I don't think anybody will be up and willing to sit through a movie in Discord. Just ask them if they know someone in the CIA who can turn back time or something. There's got to be someone who knows about time travel, right? Tell them that money is not a problem. I could just sell Matt's garbage pill Who knows? You never know. Collection. Please ask them. Mm, okay, I will. Okay, what do you want from me? You don't seem very upset about your friend. One just gets used to these things. Are you used to seeing corpses? You don't even care that this one's your friends? You know... I've seen his corpse so many times already. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, come on. Just check out that look on Matt's face. It's pretty funny, no? Oh, come on. I'm going to prove that you killed him. When I do, I'll personally make sure you spend the rest of your life behind bars. Oh, man. Better men than you have tried, and they've all failed miserably. <clears throat> Don't you dare ever touch me again. I'm sick of going through the exact Don't same thing day That's after day. Square. I couldn't do anything. Got it? Day after day? Sergeant, Can't tell me what to do. The temperature of the ice has reached 43 degrees below zero. Celsius or Fahrenheit? Kel. That is impossible, Ned. There's nothing below absolute zero. Well, now there is. This Frigomatic 9000 is the bomb. Hey, you dorks. Could you please shut the hell up? I'm trying to question the suspect here. Oh, here we go with the suspect thing. <laughs> oh, Why do you shit, think I forgot. I have to disassemble the jewelry Listen, that I stole. Matt had been totally obsessed with the idea of freezing himself for years. He said he wanted to see a future ruled by machines. Kind of hard to explain. Poor bastard. Look at Dave Rodman. Look at him sitting in my chair in a slide. And he'll fucking Don't you have a push right up yet? yet? And what's it to you what I do in my free time? Technically, it's not your free time. I'm sure Emerson must be waiting there with an urgent package in his hand for you. Maybe, but I'm on strike. <coughs> strike? Well, call it a strike, call it I don't feel like working today. Or maybe I'm so busy trying to get rid of any possible evidence that might implicate me in this case that I don't have time to go to work. Oh, sure Randall, you're just digging your own grave, buddy. Nice. I can just picture your frightened little face after you hear the cell door locking behind you. I don't think so. What are you gonna do, arrest me? Because I think I've heard that one before. All in good time. Were there any problems between you and Mr. Griffin? Not really. I've got Why? money. I'm money, 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 money. What made you put him in that freezer? I went the wrong place. I didn't. So you hired someone else, huh? Hmm, I see. Oh, come on. Do I look like I can afford a hitman? I better not tell you what you look like, kid. Do you know why you're here? Today? No. What? Were you here yesterday as well? Well, uh, it's kind of a long story, and honestly, I don't think you're gonna buy it, so... I got plenty of time. Tell me everything, kid. Okay, then. <laughs> And that's why I need to save Doc before I attach the DeLorean to the steam train to be able to go back to 1985. Uh, no, wait, I, I think I lost it again. Enough! I don't want to hear another word. <laughs> Sergeant, we're done here. So? Well, as weird as it sounds, it was a suicide. No one would commit suicide like that. Who could be that stupid? Matt? Matt was? Did you ever meet Matt? Shut up. I'm not done with you yet. And you? Why are you so sure he got in there himself? There's a suicide note stuck to the fridge. It says something about a future ruled by machine. Did you check the handwriting? Yes, we compared it to some threatening letters he wrote to Doctors Without Borders a few years ago. It's a match. Why would he threaten Doctors Without Borders? Well, Matt thought they were the ones who kidnapped his dog. I don't remember why. Then I found out Matt didn't even have a dog. His girlfriend confirmed that the victim had talked about cryogenically freezing himself several times before. <laughs> Maybe the world's better off without him. Okay, so if we're done here, I'm gonna take off. I got some things to do.
Hey, not so fast. The other one leaving right now is me. I need to check some facts. I'm just going to radio some info in. Oh, come on. Sally already left. The girl was very disturbed. She needed to go home and calm down. Well, I could do with the rest as well. Kind of running out of cop jokes here. Great. Maybe then you'll say something coherent. Well, don't get your hopes up. You filthy maggot. You're not going anywhere until I make some calls. Oh, come on, but I gotta... But I gotta nothing. The suspect is not to leave the room under any circumstances. Yes, sir. Yes, Sergeant. You can't hold me here. I'm almost sure I haven't done anything. Maybe not. But I told you, I don't like your face. At least I think I did. I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, at least I didn't call me Susan this time. It's almost like watching Quirks the series. Finally, I have made my decision. I want to say thank you to all of you who have supported me in making this dream come true. Now I will be able to see that future ruled by machines I've dreamed so much of. Thank you, Mother, for my new fridge. Its freezing power is just amazing. I'm deeply sorry for you, Sally. You've done nothing to deserve this suffering. I would have loved to be able to give you the best, but regrettably, I've lost my will to live. At least on a planet not ruled by machines. But as good old Jules Winfield said, gun in his hand, the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who, in the name of charity and goodwill, right, guys, we're shepherds ready to see the Jay. the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. Getting ready to see Jay in the game, Dread. Nice. Good. Gonna read this. But they'll take the beers over to Mr. Dead and Ted out there. Uh. Here. So, who wants a cold one? You're one of a kind, kid. Yeah, I get that a lot. Although people think I'm just being sarcastic. Hey, but at least open them for us. They're not screw caps, you know. <laughs> what do you think we are, superheroes? Well, no, you don't look like superheroes at all. But Matt didn't either, and I've seen him opening bottles with his ears. Plus, the intention is what counts, right? No, kid. Alcohol is what counts. And it hasn't reached my liver yet. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to open them. Shit. I think there's a bottle opener, so what I'm gonna do... God, this is gonna be morbid if it works. I'm sorry to desecrate your remains like this, buddy, but I have no choice. Oh shit, it like works! I count on you for just this one last time. <laughs> I just opened a couple beers on this dude's frozen corpse. Wait, that's kind of disturbing. Well, it happened. <laughs> hey, did anyone say imported beer? No, but I'll take one. Thanks, kid. Now this is the way to work. Well, I only offer the finest quality. Now we should be able to go over... Here's to all those poor bastards who make January the best month of the year with their mass suicides. 
And to all those damn drunks who voluntarily end up in the morgue every weekend. I'm gonna go back here. And to that maniac from last week who climbed the clock tower with an AK. I've always wanted to do this. Something inside, probably something valuable, but the drawer stuff. Stuck in his head. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, uh, nothing. nothing. Just, Just gas. gas. My, My stomach's been a little up and down the last few days. Holy mother! You should see a doctor about that! I know, I know. I'm sorry. That's okay, but try not to make so much noise. We don't want to have to handcuff you to your friend's corpse. Don't you think that was a little cruel, man? Hey, understood. No more noise, promise. Fuck! All this fuss for a simple fork? I hope it turns out to be useful for something else. I use our little duck hanger that we made on day one. We're gonna make some money, and then we're gonna have an orgy with loads of hot chicks. Yo, what the fuck are you looking at? I'll kick your fucking ass. Shit, yeah. Hey, what's your problem, dude? I just said hi. Oh, my bad, all right? Sometimes I just can't control myself. I'm Jay, and this, this is my head real life partner, Solid Paul. Is it? Costumes? Really gotten into character, huh? Costumes? What the hell are you talking about? Um, never mind. So, uh, how come you're not at the sci-fi con? You know, that was the plan, man. Going to that shit fuck nerd convention. But then we thought the place must be a fucking cock fest. And dude, you know this what? is going to, this like part's funny as fuck, I mean, dude. You might want to check it out. I see. <laughs> then, uh, I don't want to keep wasting your time with my shit. See ya. Yeah, sure, dude. See you later, man. New hands. What? What? I didn't see anything, man. Okay. But it won't let me do it for some reason. I don't get it. <laughs> he put the box over here. I 
think I'd better keep my distance. I don't want to see that guy with his dick cut between his legs, and I'm afraid that's what's going to end up happening here. <laughs> I think I'd better keep my distance. I don't want to see that guy with his dick cut between his legs, and I'm afraid that's what's going to end up happening here. I'm going to have to clip that part where they were talking a second ago. My favorite boss. Well, well, well. You got a whole lot of sack coming back here. I certainly wouldn't have. Any work for me or not? I don't have all day. Work for you? Seriously? Are you serious? Listen, you should have come back here after you destroyed my most precious possession. I thought you knew better. Fine. I'm sorry about your dog. I really thought he was already stuffed. What did you do to Baxter? Come on. I was just kidding. God, relax, Chief. I'm not gonna beat about the bush here. This package must be delivered to the sci fi con ASAP. But there's no way I'm gonna try I said, to oh shit, I'm you, a mod. Sir, Thank fired. you. Oh, what? what for I am the employee of the month. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I man. told I you, you a long time ago, the bro. alphabet backwards doesn't make you employee of I the month. Well, that would be would very Would you come in and leave, leave again or something? Whatever! <laughs> I just wanted yeah, to leave. I don't want to see you ever again. What's that? The other option would be to strangle you with my bare hands, but it is easy. Oh, because it still says it's just two people here. <coughs> oh, come on. You don't mean that. We're like two peas <laughs> in a pod, like a TV comedy duo. We're inseparable. What would you do without me? Well, I wouldn't stay up all night worrying that any moment you might go and set my warehouse on fire. Again. I've never set the warehouse on fire. Pigs! Oh, did I set the warehouse on fire? Wow, it looks like once again parallel universes have outdone the original. No, no wait, wait, I don't think that's how it goes, but whatever. There Get the hell out of here! You're fired! What makes you think you I can fire me? I got three awesome viewers right now. Thank you all for staying up late with me tonight. What I have I ever done each to you? Every one of you? You bastard! Make sure you hit that follow button, and off. that way you don't it miss the damn thing when we go live on you Twitch. Knew that. Don't I'm forget to hop on over to our YouTube channel, the Main Gamers Purgatory page. Actually, Check out the videos yeah. there. Hit the like and subscribe button. Click the ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and Gamers Purgatory. And continue to enjoy this game, guys, because this is really a fun one, actually. We just met Jane Sound Bob a few seconds ago. And what would you say if I told you I had your precious catalog right here? What the? What I thought you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old story. Just save it and give me the damn package already. But let me see it. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. God? I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I just do. <coughs> yeah, man, I think I might call it a night. Better than I remember it. I hear you, bro. Back, man. I right? appreciate you, yes. bro. Whoa! <laughs> I thought it had got up in flames along with everything else in the back room. Today if I didn't have that but you didn't migraine. start the fire. You were just trying to save it. Oh, 
But uh, no, yeah, by the way, dude, I mean, before you head out, do you want to see if you have to put more than once or a fortune? God damn it! Forgot about that detail. Kid, you're a damn hero. But what am I saying? You are employee of the year. See, I knew it. Thank you, Mandar. I know you really wanted to deliver this package, so here, enjoy that sci-fi convention. You earned it. Oh. Get the delivery note side. Alright, so I believe we have to exit outside before we can do anything with that package. <coughs> Alright, go ahead. And then we're going to go back towards Matt's place so that way we can go to the sci-fi convention. We're taking a little sidetrack again real quick. That way we can, uh, see if we can talk to James on oh, Bob a second. How can I'm hosting you? They say I was at sci-fi con and I'm not a Thank you, Dredd, for that What host, am I supposed man, to do with these? Good, I guess sir. I should deliver them, but... Is that my job? Right. Delivering fucking t-shirts? Right, How did it come good to night. this? I'm heading out of here. I'm gonna go look at the back of my eyeballs. Why do you do that? Have a good night, love y'all. I'm gonna finish this uh, chapter and I am are you saying myself? <coughs> Keep my distance. I don't want to see that guy with his dick tucked between his legs, and I'm afraid that's what's going to end up happening here. Still can't talk to him again. This guy rings a bell. know who I am? I was Mr. Lucas's personal assistant. I created Jar Jar. You got any idea of paperwork? Oh, come on. Who do you think I am? A filthy Wookiee? If you were an android, I would have ripped your arms off already, you know? Oh, sure, like in that TV show, right? Yeah, very clever. What TV show, Murray? I'm talking about real cinema here. I'm talking about what's commonly referred to as the saga. I'm talking about good old Han, beautiful Leia, and the Death Star. I can't believe you don't know what I'm talking about. What? Kid, did you hit your head or something? Cause I'm a big fan of sci-fi and Trek Wars has never been taken to the big screen. Trek Wars? What the hell is that? Hey, show some respect. There's a whole legion of Trek Wars followers who would be really offended if they heard you. But what are you talking about? Are you talking about Captain Kirk and the USS Enterprise? What? Are you serious? It's called the Millennium Enterprise, and the captain's name is Luke Spockwalker. What the He's been in charge since Lando Kirk <laughs> Oh, great. I just destroyed the most famous sci-fi sagas in the world? Man, this really sucks. I hate that fucking ring. It's caused me nothing but trouble. Uh, is that from Harry and the Lord of Narnia? Man, I love that wizard hobbit. You know, always going on adventures with that cowardly lion and the tin man. 
finally some justice. It couldn't be all bad. So, about your credentials? Um, let's see, just a sec. I have a lot of junk in my pockets. It's the delivery note for the package. I gotta take the sci-fi con. I have to deliver this package. I have the receipt right here. That proves nothing. I'm sure you wrote the address yourself. I could have, I admit it, but I didn't. You're so suspicious, Murray. If things are ever going to work out between you and me, you have to learn to trust me. I don't even know you. Oh, enough already. Can you read? Did you learn to read in school? Then read this. So, you work for Emerson Express. Okay, everything looks above board. Go ahead, you can go in. About time. God, I could have sneaked in hours ago, but I just love these little chats of ours so much. Come on, get going. Alright, so we want to start handing these shirts out. Hey, if it isn't the last son of Krypton. The what? And only. Well, here's a free t-shirt for you, Kryptonian. Not so fast, my friend. What does it say? They say I was at Sci-Fi Con and I'm not a virgin. Brutal. Uh, that'll stop people thinking I'm just a stupid nerd. You can't say that while you're wearing that costume, buddy. You just can't. Uh, don't worry. I'll wear it with the Swamp Thing costume. Oh, great idea. That changes everything. Here, here's your shirt. The Metropolis Kid appreciates this, my friend. Uh, what can I do to thank you? Well, I'm a little scared of what you might do, honestly. Relax, man. How would you like to have this nice pair of nunchucks? Uh, since when does the Man of Steel use nunchucks? You want them or not? Yeah, I want them. Well, uh, here you go, then. Oh, but this is a goddamn fishing rod. That's how nunchucks look on Krypton. Okay? Oh, whatever, pal. Thanks and get lost. Nobody had won it. Uh, hey, Gordon, would you like to remember the day you came here and made a fool of yourself forever? Then you need one of these teas. What? You don't like them? Come on, man, they're really funny. Okay, I get it. Dr. Freeman doesn't talk. What? Uh, no, no, I, I was just thinking. Oh, what were you thinking? Well, I was trying to calculate the approximate number of people that would beat the hell out of me if I wore one of those. I'm afraid it's just not worth the risk. Really? Because I think you're taking a big risk right now with that costume. Yeah, story of my life. But they might use knives if they saw me in that t-shirt. I'm not taking the risk. Hmm, that makes sense. Nobody had wanted. it. Yeah, get one of those. Nobody had won it. Hey man, would you like a convention t-shirt? They're absolutely free. I hate to shatter your ego, but this is not the first time I've been offered a t-shirt today. Hmm, okay. So you don't want one then? It says I was at the... Listen my friend, I want you to go in that package and find my shirt. It's the one that says bad motherfucker. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Uh, dude, I, I don't have a shirt like that. I'm, I, I'm sorry, I'll uh, see you, man. I don't eat filthy animals. Um, sure.
Wow, you got style, my friend. Would you like to have even more? I find that hard to believe. Nobody's more stylish than Alex. Oh, you're wrong, pal. Alex would look even more stylish in one of these babies. I'd rather drink milk with an expired Drencrom than wear that shit. Whatever, then. I knew talking to you would be a waste of time. I'm not a waste of time. I inspire people to do bad things. Then I'm supposed to go into a back room and continue to do that one more time. For you. First herself for this guy, Lord. What's up, Travis? Would you like one of these cool t-shirts? Who's Travis? Who's Travis? Let me guess, that's a taxi driver costume, isn't it? Of course. I have never watched the movie, but I'd like it. I am never gonna talk to you again. And now, you don't get a t-shirt either. But I just... You're scum. Goodbye. you to these parts. I thought you told me to kill you if I ever saw you at one of these conventions. No, that was Matt. He's already dead, so, uh... What happened to your finger? Well, it was, uh, just a little accident. But did you cut it off? Kinda. Yeah. But then the doctors reattached it. Aw, oh, come on! That was your chance to get that robotic finger Matt gave you for your birthday fitted. First of all, it wasn't my birthday, it was my cousin's funeral. Second of all, he didn't give it to me, he threw it at my face while I was giving my speech. And last, it wasn't a robotic finger, it was a chicken finger. Oh, really? I'm sorry, my memory's not what it used to be. So, uh, how's it going? Well, not that many sales, but the atmosphere is good. Yeah, you can hardly move but for all the boom-tang. Yeah, I know there aren't many girls in here, but if some girl does come over to my stand, I have a little trick to make her fall on her knees. <laughs> That's a big statement, do you really think? Son of a... my goodness! Do you really think you're gonna get any with those? Of course! I made them myself from an alloy I created, which I named Adamantia. Oh, you named it that, huh? Boy, you must have been really inspired. Yep, I don't know why, but it just came to me. Well then, if that's the plan, you might as well yell destroy when you pull them out. That's a sure bet. Hey, I like that. How much for that ugly ring? More than what you can afford. You don't know that. Randall, I know you very well. And believe me, this ring is way out of your league. Psst. I could say the same thing about you and that actress that plays super hot chick. Aw, oh, low blow, man. I know. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about your feelings. I'm here to talk business, so tell me. How much for that stupid ring? A lot, Randall. We're talking about an astronomical figure. So huge, you can't even... I'm sorry, Charlie. You were saying something? Uh, how much do you have there? Honestly, I don't know. It started off as too much money. It may have dwindled a little, but I'll give you the whole wad for that ring. It's not that simple. This ring is probably the most valuable item in the whole convention. I can't just sell it to the first guy who walks over here flashing some cash. Oh, Charlie, please. I'm begging you. You know I hate begging. I need to buy that ring. It's very important. Aw, oh, poor Randall. You're acting like the world's gonna end if you don't get that ring. I don't know what to say. You can either go and find some more money, or surprise me. Uh, I could surprise you in so many ways, but then people would call the cops on me. Besides, how do you expect me to get more money? I know I sometimes use his name, but I'm not Donald Trump. There are many ways to make fast money, Randall. Selling your body on the street, stealing stuff, offering your body for medical experiments, I don't know. Look, look, we've known each other for years. Even though I've never thought of you as a friend, I'd like you to have the ring. It's obvious that you're desperate, although I can't understand why. I really don't understand why I'm doing all this either. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Here's what we'll do. You go get more money, and the ring is yours. I promise I won't sell it until you come back with way more cash. 
If you're not here before dusk and I get a good offer, I'll have to sell it. Deal? Deal. You just wait here. I'll get more money, even if I have to steal it from nuns. I saw you at Clayton's last night. No, oh, yeah. Well, I was drowning my sorrows. What's wrong? Did you find out your internet girlfriend is actually a guy? No, dude. Wonder Comics is canceling Captain Red. Yeah? How come? Well, sales haven't been that good lately. Well, that's only normal after 35 years on the market. No! He's the greatest comic superhero ever! I grew up with him. He was always there for me when I was down. Besides, now that Super Hot Chick is his sidekick, they make the most fucking amazing team-ups. Okay, Charlie, don't get your panties in a bunch. I get it. The world needs Captain Red. So, uh, how did he get his powers again? Oh, that is a fascinating story. Well, while they're having this conversation, let me go He's just a kid restaurant. who loved paintball. He wasn't very good at it, and didn't have all the right gear to play, but he never gave up. So, he was a loser. He wasn't as skillful as the rest. Kind of weak for his age, and he always wore this yellow sweatsuit instead of camouflage clothing. So, he always gave the other guys a good laugh. One day, sick of being constantly mocked, he decided to wear his grandfather's captain uniform. Unfortunately, he didn't realize it was a full dress uniform with a blue hat and badges and stuff. Oh my god, what a big fat loser. The battle took place in this old abandoned industrial park where people used to process radioactive waste. Spurred on by the uniform, Tim Willer entered into battle, buzzing with adrenaline. But it was all in vain. This time, they laughed at him more than ever. But Tim was going to answer back, but before he could even think of something, everybody started riddling him with paintballs. Little by little, his whole uniform was dyed red. All of it, except for the hat which flew off his head with the first burst. But while he was being shot, he noticed, sadly, that even his own team members were joining in. When the firing stopped, everybody gathered around Tim, who was writhing on the floor, and they put the hat back on his head, still laughing mercilessly. Next, they grabbed him, put him inside an empty barrel of radioactive waste, and pushed it down the hill. Now, what those guys did not expect is that the barrel would explode, giving birth to the ultimate Avenger, an Avenger ready to beat the crap out of him. <sighs> Amazing. Young Tim Willer ceased to exist. Captain Red had been born. With his superhuman physical abilities, his now radioactive paintball gun, and doomed to wear that same uniform for all eternity, he spends his life protecting the just and punishing cruelty. Sometimes going a bit overboard. Cool. Can I borrow it? Captain Red number one? No way! Its location is a secret, and I keep it in a reinforced vault. He's Super Hot Chick's boyfriend? No way. Well, they work together. <laughs> what a loser. By the way, how old is Super Hot Chick now? Does it matter? Well, it's just I'm sure she's not even in her 40s anymore. Well, that's your opinion. In that lingerie catalog from 1972, Super Hot Chick is described as a woman of her time. And to be honest, if you focus on her style, you can easily see the passage of time, yet you can't deny she still looks hot as hell. Yes, that's true, but maybe it's because she's a drawing? What do you mean? The Super Hot Chick series is still going strong. But Captain Red... Yeah, what's the problem with Captain Red exactly? Well, like I said, they don't make as much money as they used to. But that's normal. Time goes by and people get tired of seeing the same things over and over. That's normal, you say? Captain Red is in his prime. He's in an almost stable long-term relationship with Super Hot Chick, and his arch-enemy Moose Man is about to be defeated for good. <laughs> Moose Man? You mean the guy that shoots chocolate moose out of his hands? Hell, Charlie. Even your enemies are lame. Hey, be careful there. That's my favorite saga you're talking about. Choose your words wisely. And don't forget about my retractable claw. Yikes, how good I am. Nobody had wanted me.
the shirt the emperor ordered to celebrate his cat's birthday has arrived. Now nothing will stand in his way. Impressive. Most impressive. The whole galaxy will kneel before us. Ah, dude, cut the space crap already. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. You called me commander before. When was I demoted? And by the way, if that Trek Wars thing is true, then you shouldn't even exist, right? Oh, no, no, don't try to backtrack now, and don't change the subject. If you stop asking questions, I'll give you this candy. Take candy from a stranger? Hmm, I haven't done that since I was a kid, but okay. Anything to get this storyline and coherence over with. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. You know, today's not a good day for me. Maybe we can rule the galaxy some other day? By the way, how does Anakin like those great shirts? That name no longer has any meaning for me. I understand. And judging by that costume, I don't think you'll quite be able to live up to what the shirt says. But hey, don't give up on your dreams, okay? If you must know, I have a girlfriend. Cyber girlfriend? Is there any other kind? Well, in that case, I'll give you three. One for you, one for your cyber girlfriend, and one for your robot girlfriend. I'm sure you have one of those as well. Touché. Thought so. Oh, God. Hey, don't judge me. I studied computer engineering, and my father is a mechanic. What else am I going to do in my summer vacation? Sure, man. I'm not judging. Here's your t-shirts. Good morning. What's up? Looking for anything in particular? Mm, not really. Then stop wasting my time, kid. As if having to put up with this freak show wasn't enough. Yeah, not really loving the scene myself either. Then why are you here? Work. Same as me then. A man's gotta do yada yada. Yeah, except when I have a hangover, then sleeping gets to the top of my priorities list. But today, I had to be here. It's a matter of life and death. In my case, I was just bored. I guess you're still in the business of acquiring articles which pique your interest, then. Sure am. But today I'm here just for the geek stuff. You know, shirts, comic books, miniatures, figures, and all kinds of merchandising. So you're not interested in an extendable duck hanger? Nothing will ever be out of your reach again with this baby. I think I just got deja vu. And no, I'm not interested in your crap. Today is strictly about the merchandising. Hmm, I never thought I'd see you here. Yeah, me neither. But my brother-in-law said it might be a nice chance to expand my horizons. You know, make some new contacts. I was bored, so I came. But all I see here is a bunch of nerds that aren't buying or selling anything. Yeah, their mothers probably only gave them just enough allowance for one or two little action figures. <laughs> you have to understand that. Yeah, I do understand, but I hope people stop buying stuff soon. It's just <coughs> I'm losing my patience, and I get nervous when I'm losing my patience. And I drink Mercury Cola when I'm nervous, and stuff happens when I drink Mercury Cola. Bad stuff. I hope I'm still around when that happens. Well then, I'm gonna take off. Good for you. Nobody had won it. I can't believe it. Is that you, Morty? Is that a costume, or do you just look like this now? So are you going to start paying for your half of the rent someday? Ah, 
I know, Morty, you like expensive toys. I'm the one who signs for them every time you get a new package, so don't make me do anything drastic. Damn, that bastard has an answer for everything. Okay, I'm out of here. By the <coughs> way, I'm glad you decided to socialize a little. Your next step should be taking a shower. You know, just think about it. Marty, you gotta help me! Sure, Doc. What's the problem? Wait a minute. My name's not Marty. Who the hell are you? The question is not so much where we are, as when we are. That's not what I asked. I asked, who the hell are you? I can't give you details, Marty. The consequences of that could be disastrous. Okay, you're scaring the shit out of me. What's going on? The Libyans are after me, Marty. Libyan terrorists. Libyans? Wow, this is heavy, Doc. There's no time to waste. Here, take this. Uh, wait a second, buddy. Uh, is this what I think it is? If you're thinking plutonium, yes, it is. Man, are you crazy? I was just playing along because it was kind of funny, but I'm not going to carry that around, you damn lunatic. You don't understand. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. My kids? Look, I don't know if I happen to be a father in this parallel reality or what, but you're starting to freak me out. Will you leave me alone if I take the goddamn plutonium rod? Sure. I guess I'll see you in about 30 years. Oh, not if I can help it, Doc. Uh-uh. <laughs> now we gotta get a trolley. Alright, so, I better take Charlie's advice. I think I need the opinion of a shrink. Maybe he can help me look at the situation from a different perspective, or maybe he can prove to me that none of this is actually happening and it's all in my head. Good morning, miss. A very good day to you, sir. Okay, you win. I'd like to see the psychiatrist. I'm sorry, sir, but Dr. Johnson is a busy man. All the appointments today are already taken. Could you make an exception? I'm an old college buddy of his. You're a doctor? Isn't it obvious? And you went to college together. I mean, how is that possible? He is much older than you. I have a very high IQ, and I graduated when I was just eight years old. And your name is? Hauser. Dr. Doogie Hauser. I am sorry, Dr. Hauser. Your name is not on Dr. Johnson's unexpected visits list, so there is nothing I can do. But you can make an appointment for tomorrow morning, if you wish. You know, I'm afraid tomorrow's not good for me. What about Wednesday, then? That's even worse. Couldn't you just squeeze me in today, please? I am sorry, sir, but that would be impossible. You don't understand. I'm having the biggest psychological crisis ever, without a doubt. 
please, Dr. Hauser, calm down. I just need to see the shrink for a second. Can't you see how unstable I am? I can see that. And I must ask you to calm down. Would you like me to make you an appointment for tomorrow? Yes or no? Ah, for the love of God, I can't come tomorrow. I'm trapped in time. Don't you understand? Very well. Friday, then. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Peace out. Have a good day, sir. Hi. I'll return your greeting just out of politeness, my friend. But please, if it's not too much to ask, could you not bother me right now? I'm trying to enjoy this melody. <coughs> Damn, Alan! sheet manufacturing. I just broke the dial. Alan! What's up, buddy? Not much. Just sitting here, waiting my turn. I'm next. Oh, nice. Uh, so why do you keep yelling the name Alan? I beg your pardon? You know, you yell the word Alan every now and then. I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Alan? But I'm not a lunatic who walks around yelling his own name all the time. Alan! And what's your condition exactly? You seem pretty normal to me. I have... A very serious psychological problem, Alan! Among other things. You don't say. My life is a nightmare. No matter how hard I try, the ones I love will always be the ones who pay! Hey, that's my catchphrase. <laughs> well, no, it's Peter Parker's, but I copied it first. I'm sure my problem is more pressing, but whatever. And what problem is that? May I ask? Alan! I'm trapped in a time loop which has me reliving the same day over and over. Go! Oh, what a pickle! The same thing happened to me last year, you know? Is it because of a computer cord? A cursed ring? Or maybe you made a pact with Beelzebub! Mmm, cursed ring. Oh, I see. Well, if you want my opinion, you should find a wish-granting goblin. You can borrow mine if you want. Although... Alan! Although? Well, that goblin was a nickel little bastard, so I had to chain him up in the basement and, you know, it's been days since I last heard his screaming and begging. Alan! And now that I think of it, my place smells kind of funny lately. Oh, and the flies, you wouldn't believe! I hope you didn't starve to death or anything. I really don't want a decaying body in my basement. Maybe I should have fed him from time to time, instead of just rubbing his head gently while dreaming up my evil plans. Alan! Uh, did your goblin wear a uniform? Maybe blue? And did he have a satchel full of cryptic notes? So? You're familiar with these goblins, hmm? Before you went quiet, he would scream for hours! I'm a mailman! I'm a mailman! Oh, all men are male! Alan! Okay... Uh, there's this floating head which only I can see that follows me everywhere while whispering, Kill them all. You too? That's nothing to worry about. Wow. Tough guy, huh? <coughs> I can't find my car keys. <laughs> this situation is starting to get out of hand. Whoa! I'm so sorry for you, man! I know it must be hard on you. I'd like to go first. Ellen! But no! Nah, it's actually kind of stupid. That's what people said about the air? 2012, that it was just stupid, that the world wasn't coming to an end, and all of a sudden, BAM! The end of the world! Good night! Bam? The end of the world, huh? Are you sure about that? Oh, God. Please don't tell me you're one of those people who thinks they're still living on the planet Earth! Well, I guess I am one of those people. 
It's all just a bunch of lies. They say that on TV to hide the truth from us. Alan! Then, um, what planet do we live on now? <laughs> we live on no damn planet. We travel space on a giant flying turtle that leaves a trail of octarine behind. Great. You know, I don't get it. Why do all you mental cases think that Terry Pratchett's books are like some kind of self-help manual? Hey, I'm no mental patient. I suffer from a personality disorder. Do you know what that is? Of course I do. That's when a guy voluntarily listens to Yoko Ono's greatest hits in their underwear, isn't it? Hey, are you laughing at me? Well, I'm trying, goddammit. Well, you're lucky you're not talking to my other personality. They say he's not as friendly as I am, and that he swears a lot. Alan! Well, that would sound much more intimidating if it wasn't for a guy dressed as a, uh... I mean, I don't know, what the hell is the deal with those clothes, dude? Oh, get over it, girl! It's just the current intergalactic fashion! All of you who refuse to accept reality will never be able to appreciate the greatness of these clothes! Alan! Not even if an army of tentacles took over the Earth! Okay, well, I'm gonna take off. Don't forget to clean the Kraken's tank, huh? Whose tank? <laughs> never mind. Alan! Hello again, Alan. Excuse me, are you talking to me? Because my name is Robert. Um, are you sure? Pretty sure, yeah. So your name's not Alan anymore. Oh, God damn it! What? You're not the first guy who's told me that. Apparently, there's this guy named Alan who looks just like me, and, man, he's fucking up my life. What do you mean? Well, you know, I, I think the bastard looks just like me and wears the same clothes I wear. People confuse me with him. They blame me for the things he does. And now, my basement stinks of shit and I don't even know why. Hmm, fascinating. Nice to meet you, Robert. Can I see the doctor before you? Are you kidding me? You want me to give you my turn? As if that Allen guy messing up my life wasn't enough? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but no way. Huh, so that Allen guy is ruining your life, huh? And how? I, I can't go out anymore. Everybody stares and calls me names. <laughs> well, I think your clothes are to blame for that. Hey, don't mess with me, man. And you know, there's more. Yesterday, I found a rather big dead turtle on my nightstand, right where my globe was. I think that Allen guy is sending me some kind of message. Okay. Ciao, Robert. Yeah, whatever. Bye. No, no. You know what? Wait a second. Yeah, what's up? It's just that, now that I think of it, I got the feeling you actually know that Allen guy. I wish I didn't, but I do. So what? I need you to help me set that guy up. Are you serious? Fuck yes. That bastard is making my life a misery. And I'm not just gonna stand back and do nothing. Did you know he kidnapped my canary? How the hell should I know that? In fact, how do you know that? Did he leave a ransom note or something? No, but I know the bastard breaks into my house when I'm not there. Once, I found my mail on the table, and someone had paid the electricity and water bills with checks written out to cash signed by, hmm, guess who? That's right, that Allen guy. Oh my god, so you're telling me that bastard is paying your bills? We have to stop him. Do you think this is some kind of joke? He kidnapped Columbus this morning. I hope you're talking about your canary, because if you named your child Columbus, this conversation is over. Of course I'm talking about my canary. I told you, he's really old. He barely sings anymore. I hope he's okay. Yeah, uh, so we're talking about setting Alan up, right? Do you have a plan? Well, I haven't really thought it through yet, but I'll come up with something. After all, I'm smarter than him. Sure you are. Stay close, okay? Yeah, sure, I will.
Alan? Yes? Ah, oh, hell. I can't do this. Robert is coming for you. Run! Who? The owner of the canary you kidnapped? Hey! If this is a joke, it's not fun. Oh, man, it's not a joke. Your other self is called Robert and he's sick of you. You have to understand, uh, you kidnapped his canary who, to make petters worse, is called Columbus. My other self is called Robert? <laughs> that explains a lot. Like that tattoo on my, um, well... Like my tattoo. But I didn't kidnap any canary! Alan! On the contrary, I'm purging this world! Um, you know that purging the world sounds kinda shady? Listen! When I woke up this morning, I found out that, as usual, someone had broken into my house and had messed the place up. And that's when I saw that. That. What? That damn reptilian Illuminati. I had to finish him up. Oh god, now I really hope you're talking about the canary. Canary? As much as they try to genetically alter their DNA so they look like common birds, they can't fool me. Even if they're inside cages. Alan! They can't fool me. I see. Don't you know? They're watching us. The canaries? Birds in general. They're spreading all over town. Like a virus. And they're all aliens in disguise who just want to take over the planet. Hey, you said we don't live on a planet. I'm sorry, there's too much stuff in my head right now. Alan! What I meant is that those aliens are trying to take over the side real turtle we live on. Right. So, for the record, did you kill Columbus? Who? The canary. I had to. He was looking at me funny. And I told you he wasn't a canary. Uh, okay, so what did you do with the body? I threw it away. It was just a stupid canary. But you said it wasn't a canary. Oh, God, you know what? Never mind. Go on. Well, that's pretty much it. Alan! I just threw it away. Those pesters don't deserve a proper burial. Yeah, of course they don't. Well, tell me more about those Illuminati, huh? Well, that's a rather shadowy subject. Really? How ironic. Ironic? Yeah, you know, the Illuminati, shadowy subject. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Alan! So, how long have the birds been watching us anyway? They're not birds, kid. They're extraterrestrial beings that have adopted the form of harmless creatures so we don't suspect them! They're always watching. They've been doing it for ages. And they tell us how to live our lives. Don't believe me! I only believe in the flying spaghetti monster. Did you know there's someone out there who really hates your guts? And now comes the part where you tell me that someone is you, right? Well, that wasn't the plan, but now that you mention it, yeah, I really don't like you that much. Thought so. Well, I mean, you have to understand that... Look at your clothes. Fine, fine. I don't care if you don't like me. Ellen! Talk to you later. Um, Robert? Yes. Oh, thank God. For a second there, I thought you were going to tell me your name was Justin or something. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, never mind. Um, I have some more clues about your canary's whereabouts. Columbus? What? Do you have more canaries with weird names? No, I fucking don't. Well, I think I know what happened to good old Columbus. It's serious, so I'll just go right out and say it. He's been murdered. Murdered? But how? Hmm. Well, how can I put this? It's all kind of weird, actually, so I don't know where exactly to begin. Shh! Start from the beginning. How did you find out 
that Columbus is being murdered. Well, uh, it just wasn't some random guy. It was Alan. Motherfucker. Alan. That Alan again. Well, that's it. If it's war that bastard wants, then it's war he's gonna fucking get. As much as I would love to watch you and this Allen guy war, let's not rush into anything. Did it ever occur to you that Allen might actually be a part of you? What? Like a Siamese twin or something? Um, not really. Do you know what personality disorder means? Of course. That's the reason I'm here, actually. What? Yeah, people say I have a personality disorder. And you don't think that might explain it all? Um, no, not really. What do you mean? I'm talking about Alan, goddammit. Can't you see that all the bad things that are happening to you are all down to this Alan? Don't you see that explains why you can never catch him when he breaks into your house? And why he looks just like you and dresses just like you? Fuck, Robert, you're Alan. I mean, really? Can you not see this? Oh, yeah. That is a good one. <laughs> you have a great imagination, kid. You could write yourself a fucking movie with that little story. Okay, whatever. I gotta go. Okay, then. I'm back. Great! Alan! I would have loved to see the body of that alien you killed. Do you still wanna? What? You know. Do you wanna see that reptilian? I thought you said you got rid of the body. That's right! But... What if I took a picture of it with my cell phone for my butchered aliens photo album? Really? So you take pictures of those dead things? Always! I need proof from my friends that everything's a lie, let's kill them all.org. Please tell me you're in those pictures too. Of course! Otherwise they'd never believe I killed the alien. Fascinating. What are you going to tell the doctor? Well, I'm going to talk about my psychological problems, and I'll tell him that if he doesn't help me, I will blow the whole building to bits! Alan! Great. Same as me, then. Okay, then. I'm going. Always follow your heart. Alan! Hello again. Oh, fuck, man. I feel like you're the only one I talk to lately. Can I borrow your phone for a second? Don't you have one of your own? I want to show you something. You want to show me something? Mm -mm. No, 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 thank you. Come on, Robert. I'm not going to steal your damn phone. I just want you to check something out. I'm not really into cell phones, kid. Mine doesn't have an internet connection. I just use it to make and receive phone calls. Nothing more. But does it have a camera? Well, yeah, it does. But honestly, if I need to take some pictures, I use a real camera. Well, say thing. I'm not lending you my fucking phone so you can take a fucking picture of your ass or something! Well, there goes plan B. What a nice day, huh? Yes. Wonderful day. Let's hope no asshole spoils it. You bet. The rainy season is almost upon us. Uh, yes, but, um... What about that weather we've been having lately, huh? Idyllic, right? Well, I like it better when it's a bit colder, you know? When you crawl into bed and tuck yourself in under a nice blanket. Enough! Enough already! God!
I cannot go on with the charade any longer. What the hell is your problem, kid? Oh, God, it's just that I don't give a damn about the weather or blankets. I was just trying to gain your confidence, but this is not working. It's just... Look at you. I can't talk about the weather with someone who dresses like that. It's contrary to my nature. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Yeah, listen. Let's talk about something else, okay? Let's talk about something else? Go to hell, boy. <laughs> they say I'm the crazy one. Alright, hold on, guys. I need to take a quick piss. And... Here, back. But seriously, what a magnificent day, huh? Kid, beat it. Can I borrow your phone for a second? Don't you have one of your own? Well, mine ran out of battery. Oh. Okay, well, if it's an emergency, I guess there's no problem as, as long as you don't fuck it up. Um... I think that's for you, kid. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, 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 you mean this? No, 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 no. This is my sister's phone. I, I, I guess I took the wrong one. Will you answer it already? You're pathetic. <sighs> You're right. Coming from a guy dressed like that, it's difficult to take. Really difficult to take. Hello? Are you satisfied with your current mobile network operator? Ah, you are human garbage. Who is that? If you don't mind me asking. Your stylist. Ha! Very funny. Some people will just never be able to appreciate true elegance. Yeah, especially you. You're fucking walking on thin ice, kid! Hey, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Can I borrow your phone for a second? Don't you have one of your own? I want to show you something. You want to show me something? Mm -mm. No, no, thank you. Come on, Robert. I'm not going to steal your damn phone. I just want you to check something out. I'm not really into cell phones, kid. Mine doesn't have an internet connection. I just use it to make and so, receive no, phone calls. Okay. Nothing more. Well, I'm sure it's so old you don't want people to see it. Uh-uh. You're wrong. I don't care what other people think of me. You should know that already. Do you think I'd be wearing these clothes if I did? Oh, right. Okay, then. Don't show it to me. It's just that I don't see where this is going. Honestly. Robert, I want to prove that you are Alan. Hey, enough with that already. But, but, no buts. I am sick of hearing that ridiculous story! Okay, okay, easy, man. <laughs> Can I borrow your phone for a second? Don't you have one of your own? I want to show you something. You want to show me something? Mm -mm. No, no, thank you. Come on, Robert. I'm not going to steal your damn phone. I just want you to check something out. I'm not really into cell phones, kid. Mine doesn't have an internet. I just use it to make. Well, I'm sure it's so old you don't want people to see it. Uh-uh. Do you think I'd be wearing... Oh, right. Okay. It's just that I don't see where... I just wanted to see if you had any pictures of Columbus in there. You want to help me find him? I guess. There are thousands of flyers with his picture all over my neighborhood. I'm even offering a reward. Do you have any pictures of him on your phone? I never use my phone camera, okay? Okay. I think I'm out of here. Or maybe we gotta do something with okay. him. I'm almost there, but just a little bit more. I'm almost there, but just a little bit more. 
Okay, so it's already a combination of... So, but seriously, what a magnificent day, huh? Kid, beat it. Can I borrow your phone for a second? Don't you have one of your own? I want to show you something. You want to show me? Come on. I'm not real. I just you. Well, I'm sure it. Uh uh. Do you think I? Oh, right. It's just that I don't. I just wanted to check its features and stuff. Features? I told you it's an old one. It doesn't even have Wi-Fi, which is a shit. Are you sure? Isn't there an option to turn it on in the main menu? Nah. Look, I just have contacts, call lock, games, gallery. Wait, check there. In gallery? Yeah, I'm not sure why, but they've taken to putting the Wi-Fi access in there. Really? That makes no sense. Is something wrong? What the hell is this butchered aliens folder? Huh, I don't know. Why don't you take a look, Alan? But what is, what the, is the meaning of this? of this? What's wrong? Do you see anything weird in there, Alan? Don't call me that! But it's your name, Alan, even if you refuse to accept it. No! I would never hurt Columbus. And yet there's the proof. You know damn well that's you in those pictures. And you also know that that is Columbus. You murdered him. No, 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 no! No, this isn't happening! This can't be happening again! Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it is. And things are gonna be pretty different around here. Wow. wow! I didn't see that, that coming, coming, but it works, works for me. Miss Miller, could you send in the next patient, please? Right away, Dr. Johnson. Mr. Alan Simmons, you're next. It looks like Mr. Simmons isn't up to his appointment right now. Did something happen to Mr. Simmons? Uh, I think so, yes. Anyway, how's Dr. Johnson's day looking now? Because I believe there's just been an opening. I know what you did there. Me? We were just talking about the weather. Dr. Johnson, Mr. Alan Simmons doesn't feel well today, and there's this man, Dr. Doogie Hauser, who insists on seeing you. Very well. Send him in. Dr. Hauser, you may go in. Dr. Johnson will see you now. Very well, sir. I'm Dr. Harold Johnson. Now tell me, what seems to be the problem? Okay, um, you see, I'm trapped in time, and I don't think that's normal. Okay, uh, tell me, do you suffer from headaches or migraines? Nah, just from hangovers. Do you drink on a regular basis? Oh, you're asking me if I have a drinking problem, right? Well, uh, I don't know what to say, so I'll say I don't, no. Very well, duly noted. Have you experienced any recent changes in your personal life? Dr. Johnson. You're trying to seduce me, aren't you? I'm afraid not, my friend. Okay, let's just start with a simple Rorschach test. I know the human mind pretty well, Dr. Hazard. I'm a professional, so please take this test seriously. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures, and I want you to tell me what you see in each of them. Okay, I see Carl Winslow. I haven't shown you any pictures yet. No. Oh. Okay, I, I get it now, I'm sorry. Now please take this seriously. Tell me, what do you see? Did you draw those? No. Then how do you know what they represent exactly? Uh, that is not how it works, Dr. Hauser. L let's focus on your problem. And what is my problem? Well, I don't know yet. That is what the test is for, but we can't start unless you stop interrupting. As I was saying, I'm going to show you some pictures. Oh, great. I love that. Now tell me, what do you see in this picture? Uh, 
a squashed butterfly. A squashed butterfly. Interesting. Great. It seems like we're making some progress here. And what about this one? What do you see? Playing poker. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many people say that. Ah, oh, shoot. I always thought I was special. Well, you're not. Take this more seriously, please. Let's try again with the same picture. What do you see here? That's a time machine. A time machine? And what do you base that on? But that's, that's the first thing that came into my mind. I thought that was the idea, wasn't it? That's true, but I find it extremely curious that the first thing that comes to your mind is a time machine. That is really interesting, given that the idea of a time machine is only feasible in one's mind. I mean, it is a very ambiguous and imprecise concept as it is an object that is not real, and therefore there is no standard idea of what it would look like. We can only base our concepts on sci-fi archetypes. And this is fascinating because it makes me think that deep inside you, you would really like to turn back time to be able to alter our history, or maybe stop something from happening, something significant. Am I right, Dr. Hauser? Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. I stopped listening the moment you said ambiguous. Anyway, we were talking about Roswell, right? I really think it was a government cover-up because there were aliens and, you know, there's proof everywhere, but they just don't want us to know. Enough. Let's try the next one. <laughs> Very well. What about this one? What do you see? <laughs> reminds you of something else. Sure, it reminds me of when you get an ink stain on a piece of paper. I see. Oh, looks like we're on the roll here. Tell me, Mr. Hicks, what about this one? <laughs> Stormtrooper. They're all squashed butterflies, can't you tell? I told you that it depends entirely on the person looking at them. <coughs> if you see a squashed butterfly, another man would see a plane on fire. And neither <coughs> would be right nor wrong. Understood. 100%, but I assure you that's a squashed butterfly. Very well, very well. Let's continue. Now take a look at this one. What do you see, Dr. Hauser? Earlier you called me Mr. Hicks. <laughs> no, you can't see. Big word, that one. Psychiatrist holding a picture of a psychiatrist holding a picture in which there's a psychiatrist holding a picture. Okay, okay. You're talking about a drost effect, but that's not very common in 
the Rorschach test. Well, what can I say? That's what I see. And that psychiatrist is... You're a psychiatrist? Okay, now I'm starting to realize what's going on here. My patience has limits, Dr. Hauser. Okay, I'll be good. Let's carry on with the picture thing. I'm having so much fun. Okay, then. Okay, that's it. I am done listening to your delusions. That is not my job, goddammit. Uh, actually it is, Doc. I don't care. The test is over. You suffer from a very severe case of acute kleptomania. Is that diagnosis based on my answers? No. It is based on the fact that I saw you furtively stealing one of my cards while I was making notes, which, by the way, is really stupid because those cards are there for anyone to take. Did you really think I wouldn't notice? I'm right here for God's sake. Anyway, I believe one of two things is happening here. Either you're having me on for some reason, or you're just a complete imbecile. In any case, if you ever come back to my office, I'm afraid I will have to call the authorities. I really didn't understand any of that, but I suddenly feel unwelcomed here. <laughs> I'm not going, going back in there. I'm not that crazy. Oh. Okay, we're about to confirm that thing about opening doors with a credit card is just another one of Hollywood's lies. Ooh, bingo. Oh, what a bastard. I always thought I got the biggest room. I can't. It's locked. That goddamn lunatic. I'm sure this is all part of his eccentric security system. Uh, 
Red. Red. Green. That's, That's just, just stupid. stupid. Now you're mine, precious. Nice convention, huh? Maybe for you. God! Ugh. What the hell is wrong with you? You look like you're dying or something. Oh, I can't take this anymore! What happened, man? Uh, that hot dog vendor happened. 
He's tried to poison me. Really? I was hungry, okay? But I don't like chocolate, so I bought a hot dog from that guy and... Oh, God! And, uh, what can I do to help? Kill that bastard! I'd love to, but I don't think that's within my capabilities. Then you're of no use to me, kid. I, uh, brought this miniature if you're interested. Is that... Is that a Millennium Enterprise? What are you, blind as well? Of course it's a Millennium Enterprise. Collector's edition, I might add. Oh, I'm dying! I see. Well, uh, no one should leave this world without acquiring one of these. Uh, listen, I'm a big fan of Trek Wars. I've been a fan since I was a kid. I always wanted to have the Millennium Enterprise. But, uh... but... But right now I'm suffering from this indescribable pain. I can't do business in this state. I need help. Okay, okay. You want me to call an ambulance? No, I don't like ambulances. They're so noisy and they have no style. Are you serious? You look like you're gonna blow up any second now. You need some help. What I need is a damn <coughs> coffee! Oh. What do you want coffee for? God! Isn't it obvious? That hot dog almost killed me. I have a knot in my stomach. And I need to unload right away. Ooh, I get it, but, um, why don't you just use a laxative? Do you have any? Well, no, but I could throw one together. I just need to get my hands on a few choice ingredients. God, I love doing that. No, 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 no weird experiments. Ah, I just want a damn coffee. Uh, all right, I hear you, but I, I don't think there's any coffee machines around here. I mean, I've seen plenty of nerds that are just crying for a serious beatdown, but no trace of a coffee machine. Ah, uh, that damn fucker has a cup. Who? The hot dog guy. Ah! Uh. Then why don't you ask him for it? I mean, it is an emergency. I did, but he... Oh, he won't give it to me. Ah, bummer. It's not just that he sold me a bad hot dog, but now he refuses to... Oh, God, get me that coffee. All right, all right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm not promising anything. I'll be right back. Go find a security guard. Tell him someone tried to poison me. But are, are you sure about this? What if it's not his fault? Do it! All right. But just so you know, that's not the best way to ask for a favor. The bluntness of my words is due to the excruciating pain I find myself in. And that's the only reason I'm gonna forgive you. Hey, how's it going, pal? Not great. Looks like these nerds only spend their money on crap. Hmm, slow day, huh? <laughs> I've only sold one dog today. To that guy, Mel. Yeah, I know. He says your hot dog is the reason he's about to puke his guts up right now. Impossible. I only deal in the finest quality meat. Guaranteed. Uh, look, I believe you, but something's going on. That guy is writhing around in agony over there. He was just fine before eating that hot dog. If this is some kind of trick to get a free dog, nice try, but no dog. May I, uh, have that cup of coffee? You too. Listen, kid, this is my coffee. And I need it if I'm going to make it through this circus. But, uh, Mel could really use it. Yeah, I know that Mel guy wants my coffee too. He has asked me already, and not very politely. You know? You have to understand, he needs to unload right away? I don't care. It wasn't my hot dog that made it sick, that's for sure. And I'm not giving my coffee to a guy that rude. It's my coffee. Got it. Got it. Do you really think coming here was a good idea? I was told this hot dog junkie would be around. I'd do good with that guy. Good old Murray. Exactly. 
But he's guarding the front door, and I'm not allowed to set my car there, so I'm stuck in here. But honestly, I was expecting to see more lot jobs around in a place like this. Yeah, it sucks not having fat people around. Fat jokes are so much more funny when there's porkers to get offended. Uh, okay. Well then, see ya. What? You're not going to buy anything? After all the chit chat? I never said I would. Oh, well, okay. Get out of here. Hey, hey, Murray, Murray we, have we have a code, code brown, brown here. here. What? Someone's, Someone's tried, tried to poison, to poison the, pawn the pawn shop guy. guy. Is that true? I never I lie about something, something that serious. serious. Oh, I see, but uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to leave my post. I'm afraid you'll have to ask someone else. Oh, no, I can't believe it. I always thought of you as someone who's not afraid to throw his hat over the wall for the good of mankind. I can't just leave the door unattended, kid. But tell me, what happened? Nell claims it was the hot dog guy. What? There's a hot dog guy in there? You seem very happy all of a sudden. Eh, he must have come really early, because I didn't see him go past. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. I can't even smell him. And I'm like a bloodhound when it comes to wieners. Yeah, okay. Hello, Murray. I believe we were talking about a very serious case of poisoning. Uh, oh, yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it. The minute I'm able to leave my post, I'll get in there and I'll begin my investigation. Atta boy, but please don't hang around. Poor Mel's about to burst. Alright. Suffering. Better yet, it's me, Randall. Who? Oh. That Emerson Express delivery guy, you know. We were talking about your stomach problems a little while ago. Oh, yeah, sure. The Millennium Enterprise guy. Yeah, that's me. Great. Do you have that coffee? Uh, well, no. Then get out of here! Oh, I need total concentration. And for that, I need to be alone. Uh, fine, I want you to know that I just told security what's going on. Oh, God. If you're talking about that constable at the entrance, then fuck my life! Come on, give Murray a chance. It's being so dumb that makes him so charismatic. Oh, whatever, kid. Just don't come back here unless you have a coffee with you. Oh. I'll do my best. So, uh, what do you think about the condition of this hot dog? Come on, you didn't get that from me. I can smell it from here. I'm not talking to you. What do you think, Murray? The same as this good man just said. I highly doubt you got that here. Oh, really? What about the certificate of authenticity, then? What? Let me see. I said I wasn't talking to you. Got it? That, that is your certificate, my friend. That's impossible. Hey. I know what's going on here. I'm sure that dirty punk bought that from me a few days ago, and now that the meat is off, he wants us to believe he got it here today. <laughs> nice try, kid. Why don't you check the date, Murray? No way. It's... it is today's date. Bazinga! In your face, dickhead. Who's your daddy? But Randall is. Who's your daddy? That's a... Randall is. Don't you know? 
Okay, okay, looks like everything is starting to make sense here. But it can't be. I'm sure I didn't sell anything to this moron. I'm sorry, friend, but this looks serious. I'm afraid you'll have to come down to the station. I can't believe this. Me neither. <laughs> This is so unfair! I didn't do anything! Yeah, yeah, tell it to the judge. What judge? You can't arrest me for that. Come on, officer, how about one on the house? With extra chili, that's your favorite, right? Oh, come on, you, you know I'm innocent. Murray, don't fail me now. Bye. Officer Murray, you know I'm innocent. <laughs> tell it to the judge. What? Right on. That's my Murray. This isn't over. I am gonna talk to my lawyer. He is gonna clear my name. You can call whoever you want, but from the station. Ooh, this is great. I'm gonna tell Mel the good news. Hello? I just wanted you to know that you're officially avenged. Did you kill that hot dog bastard? Better yet, I got him arrested. And how the hell does that help me? I don't know, you should just be happy. He was guilty and he got caught. See? The system works. Uh, that guy didn't... Uh, I didn't do a damn thing! Oh my... What? I'm saying that it wasn't his hot dog what made me sick. In fact, it was delicious! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No! Ouch! I got sick because I baked myself one of those mercury cola pies. They always lead to serious intestinal problems. Then why the hell did you blame that poor hot dog guy? Everybody knows his hot dogs are the shit. Now thanks to you, I'll never be able to try one. Ah, oh, sorry, kid. Ah, oh, but the coffee is the only thing that relieves the agony when I get this sick. And that bastard wouldn't give me his. So, that's it. I judge you, but to be honest, I've done much worse things to be here today. Oh, good for you. I'm sorry, kid. Oh, but I need some privacy now. End of conversation. Oh. Okay, have a blast. <laughs> One latte macchiato with extra saccharin coming up. Oh, really? Do you think I'd lie about something like that? Oh, how should I know? Oh, I barely know you. There you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on now. I just do what I can. I owe you my life, boy. I was starting to seriously contemplate suicide. Oh no, please, come on. I've seen enough suicides for the moment. I 
like how that sounds. That's because you're a weird guy. Well, let's talk business, shall we? This miniature is wonderful. It even lights up. I always offer maximum quality. I love it. And it's from the original series. This is amazing. How much do you want? Everything you have, in cash, please. All of it? I saved you, you owe me. I know, but... No buts. Do you have any idea what I went through for that coffee? No. Phew. Thank God, because it wasn't really that hard. Anyway, the thing is that your stomach didn't explode, and you have me to thank for that. So come on, give it, give it, give it here. Fine, kid. I didn't know you were so treacherous. Of course you didn't. You barely know me. Yeah, and I hope it stays like that. Uh, typical mind. clerks, man. Typical clerks fashion. Now we got a boatload of money. We need to go ahead and go and talk to... Charlie. I'm back. All I had to do was break into a bar mitzvah and steal all the jackets from the check room. Oh, the universe will punish you one day. One day, huh? Maybe on a Monday, right? Well, I'm sick of it. Here, this should be more than enough. More than enough? I don't think so. Dude, I'm sure that's the biggest amount of money you've ever seen altogether in your life. Even including that dream you had where you broke into Fort Knox. So don't tell me it's not enough. Hey! The Fort Knox thing was top secret! If the wrong people are listening in, we could get killed! Charlie, I told you, you can't break into Fort Knox unless your name is John McClain. Besides, didn't you say they had a velociraptor with a flashlight for a security guard? That only proves that they're also doing shady illegal experiments in there. Oh, whatever. So do you want more money? Seriously? Because this is all I have. Well... Maybe there's something you can do for me. Ew, don't put it like that. You make it sound so unsavory. Ah, forget it. I don't think you'd be up to it anyway. Hey, come on. You can't do that now. Come on, spill. Okay, so, this year is Captain Red's 35th anniversary. And you want to propose to the actor who plays him at the convention, right? Okay, I haven't seen him around today, but don't worry. I'm your bro, I'll be your wingman. You know, Randall, every word you say only gets you one step further from his ring. <laughs> Relax, man, I was just kidding. I'm sure you don't need my help seducing him. Okay, the price has just gone up by 20%. Ah, oh, come on! You're a real big mouth, Randall. <laughs> Learn when to stop. Charlie, I can't afford one more cent. I'm not talking about money. As I was saying, this year, we celebrate Captain Red's 35th anniversary. And you want to propose to the... Enough already. I just wanted you to go to the food section and get some official Captain Red ice cream so we can share it and celebrate this special event together. Hmm. Sounds pretty simple. Nah, you don't know that. That offer is off the table. Oh. Then what the hell do you want from me? You must find me some rare Captain Red merchandise. Something I don't already have. And I warn you, I am a serious collector. And that is the only way you'll be getting your hands on this ring. Oh, seriously? Where am I gonna find something like that? Hey, not my problem. Alright, so now we need to leave the convention and go to play A. Hey. Let's go ahead and do so. Gotta be another access. Back to Clayton's cave.
I am going to take yet another real super quick break. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap up this chapter of the game. Then this one was quite the lengthy one. We still have a few things left to do. That's Father Roy's chalk. Trying to take it from him would be like trying to make a Mogwai observe Ramadan. I have to create some kind of diversion. I don't think I can do this. The most important ball is missing. Alright, so. Talk to Eileen, then use the cue ball on the table and aim for the lamp. Okay. Elaine, the cue ball is missing. Oh, I guess some idiot must have taken it. Hey. Maybe the thief needed it for something. Yeah, right. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. Hey, that accusation offends me. Okay, here. But please be careful with it, that's the last one. I'm always careful. Okay then, carry on, Elaine. Did you see that, Father? That's how you sink everything in one. Right now, I should be able to save the blue. He's not looking now. <laughs> uh, that was some crazy shit. Now we gotta use that one to figure in our inventory and travel to Mill's Pawn Shop. Talk to Bob outside. Now he has a cute blue hat. They want us to talk to... Talk to Bob L. That would be... Hey, great job, Bob. Thanks, but how do you know my name? Uh, it's right there on your uniform. Oh, right. <laughs> You're a very observant kid. Uh, yeah. Someone like you could go all the way in this business, you know? The painting fire hydrants business? No thanks. Well, I do more than just painting. A cake farm. Wow, that's just fascinating. 
I know. By the way, can I borrow your can of paint? It'll just be for a minute. No way. I need it. I haven't even seen you paint a single stroke since I've been here. Come on, it's for a good cause. Really? What? Well, uh, I'd like to recreate a scene from Brain Dead. I'm sorry, the paint stays where it is. Ah, thanks for nothing. You're welcome. All right, so we just talked about... Here's your... What? Figure on the paint and the fix it is? Oh, I see. Now he's wearing a fancy red suit. Alright, and then we gotta do a fix it Stop dripping. What the hell? Fucking koala bear just stole <laughs> my figure. Why me, Lord? Why me? Alright, so now apparently we... Apparently now we gotta go koala fishing. Now there's some eucalyptus flavor bait on the rod. I'm not gonna stay here holding the rod until that thing takes the bait. the weight of the rod, I'm just missing something to keep it in position. the weight of the rod, I'm just missing something to keep it in position. Oh, uh, okay, I don't think I was, um, specific. Let's hope he takes the bait. Uh, this should work, but it's just that... Ah, goddammit, I can't do it. 
Nobody with even a shred of human feeling would do something like that. I know that little bastard robbed me, but he looks just like a walking teddy bear. There's gotta be another way to catch a stupid koala. A koala? Where? What in the name <sighs> of... Borders from Town Hall. We need to exterminate all those cuddly vermin. They're spreading like rats. Fine, but just for the record, I'm totally against what you just did. No cute animal should ever be hit with hammers. Not in this dimension, not in any dimension. Alright, so apparently now we gotta pick up the call and hammer. You got no escape now, you damn marsupial. Give me back my figure. I better take the murder weapon. It's a very useful tool. Travel back to the sci-fi convention. God, this chapter. Here's your rarity, an official Captain Red action figure hand-painted by disabled people. I don't think there's anything rarer than this. What kind of disability are we talking about? Um, stressed out, beaten, mutilated nerd syndrome. Oh, I thought that had already been eradicated in schools. There's too much unnecessary suffering in this world. Uh, yes. I believe you have something for me, right? Unbelievable! Finally! Everything's gonna go smoothly from here on out. Ladies and gentlemen, Sci-Fi Con is about to close its doors. Please exit the building through the back door. Thank you for coming, and have a nice evening. Alright, let's make sure we don't have to do anything else here. What a beautiful night, don't you think? Oh yeah, Sunday. Unfortunately, I don't have time to stand around here talking about the weather. Me neither. I'm in kind of a hurry. Me too. What a coincidence. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go home. No, you're not going home. Oh, yeah, I'm not. That's what I said. Are we off to the races or something? That's not what I had in mind. I know someone who's about to get unconscious. But I guess who? I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk my way out of this one. Have you ever been hit over the head with a robot? Better not make any sudden moves. Good idea. He's waking up. Boy, does he look grouchy. What the? Ow! No! Ah! Hey! Not in there! Ouch! Ooh! Ah! He's 
bite me! No, no biting! Ow! Come on! You were supposed to help me! God damn, Marsupial! You were supposed to help me, not bite me! Yeah, run away, you coward! Oh, wait a second, I think he robbed- Oh, the ring is gone! Oh, no! Oh, it's right there. What were you about to do? I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> you gotta rehydrate in the morning, you know. Oh, God, I think I'm gonna be sick. What time is it? It's early. The city sleeps, yeah. Oh, what's wrong, buddy? You don't seem very happy. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Last thing I need is another of your dull speeches. And to top it off, that stupid koala stole a bunch of stuff from me. Great. Just great. I told you you were cursed, but you didn't listen. You don't understand the power of the ring. You just simply <laughs> lack the intelligence to do so. Talking like the bad guy from a 007 movie is not gonna make me take you any more seriously. The end is nigh, and then my words will echo in your head. What words? Your cheap TV second-hand philosophy? It is said that those who ignore the past are doomed to repeat it. But what dangers await those who cannot forget the past? Those obsessed with reliving it? Yeah, right on cue. There it is. It looks like you're becoming more aware of the situation you're in. You remind me more of myself every day. <laughs> you even slept in an alley, for God's sake. Well, the moment I get that stupid ring back, everything will go back to normal. I'm a hundred percent positive. Do you still think you can get it back just because you want to? <laughs> Ken, I told you, that ring does what it wants when it wants to. And believe me, it chooses who it wants to be with. Okay, but now I know who has it. I just have to go find that thief. Yeah, good luck with that. And alright guys, this is going to start our next day, and it's going to be a later video. I'm going to remind everybody watching over on YouTube, and everybody following me on Twitch, hit that follow button, or over on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button, smash that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on more KKS content from me and Game Purgatory. Uh, check out the description below for links to our Discord, Facebook, and our Twitch, respectively. And, uh, I'm going to fuck the bed, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 What?